I'm chewing on asbestos right now. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Allie from the future. I just finished off the video you are going to be watching on Uncle Buck today. Um, today we're going to be throwing in the headliner. Still got to get brake line. Uh, probably going to order it unless I find some laying around. I don't know if I have any. Um, order a few things from Summit for the throttle so we can start to actually try and drive it. Uh, but we got the gas tank put back in. So hopefully... Y'all are in for a fun party and <laughs> watch us get Uncle Buck put back together and into a functional vehicle. All right, Mom and I went shopping today and we're trying to pick out a headliner material. So we got car color, Ooh. interior color. Wow. Hey, check that out. That actually. That looks pretty cool. Wow. Because that covers the darker brown uh -huh. and the car color. That might actually be a contender. It's not the one I was thinking, but we also found a cow one, which actually. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't really match do here. It the yeah. Well, I mean, here. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so cow hides out. No, that's the wrong color. See, and that there is like, it matches the trim. but it doesn't match the fabric. And this is the color of the plastics. And here's what mom said. You don't go to the store and pick out what you like and buy yards and yards of it. Mm -hmm. You gotta get pieces and hold them up against things to see what you're dealing with. Because what looks good in the store and in your mind it's gonna match doesn't necessarily do so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nope. No. Eh, not really. Still not the one I was looking for. That's the one I want. <laughs> and honestly... <laughs> I like that one. Honestly, I think that might be our winner. We found this one. It's got some seriously thick padding on it. Hey, that's not that's bad. That's not bad either. It's got some seriously thick padding on the back, which might help us sound. I don't know. I could go with any of these three. Yeah. Uh, we had to get the kids' opinion. Oh, we will. They like. But this is probably my favorite. Mine too. I really like this one. Yeah. But I think that's my favorite. There's something about this one that just seems to fit the car a little bit more. Mm hmm. This one's good. This one matches everywhere. But I think for calling it Uncle Buck, yeah, that, well, this looks more like surfs up. Now, now that we've yeah. done this, take the three that we like, and we'll put it inside the car up against the ceiling and see which one feels more at home. Style yeah. one. How's that? Okay, that's stall one. Oh, the colors are good. The colors are great, but I don't think it fits Uncle Buck. Yeah. And there's another place I want to put these also. Well, good I think I just like this one because it has a backing on it and makes it yeah, it would stronger. Make it Where this is very thin. Is very thin. It's going to have...
Oh, it's bad. I'm trying to save it for a pattern, but there ain't much left to pattern on that. All right, here's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? We need to put the plaid down. Okay. So we can cut it just like it looks. So we're not putting this on the fabric. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Or do we want to lay the fabric out with the this up the sherpa up and just slide it underneath that way we're not moving that too much no this has to be on top to cut it what what i'm saying i might not be saying it right what i'm saying is take this mm -hmm. see how you have it right now yeah take this Ugh. No, but you got to go a long way. There. I'm working on it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, right? Yep. Good short, so, you know. Now we just got to make sure that the plaid is lined up on it. way a little bit.
there. Yeah, that is exact. Within a millimeter, that's exact. Perfect. Okay, now we take this one. Measure the middle. Lands there. Now, now we pop this one off, right? Oh, we don't have to. We have to sew it here. No, where's it go? Right in here. It goes on this line? Yeah. See how I have this one? Yeah. So every seam of this has a bow? Yes. Now, measure that out, marker and everything's there. Let's see. How did we do it last time? Bend to bend? Yep, pop in the bend. 44, so 22. Okay. That looks a little off. Am I just an idiot? You're like 21 and three quarter. Right there. Yep, there you go. Sorry. All right, so let's. I'm trying to correct you. Let's just check. That what? I was going to say, we can put it down where we think and then let's check the spacing. Absolutely. <laughs> You want to see if we're still. Yeah, no, so I was going to say, do we want to measure here? Yeah. Okay. No. Nope. That's nine and three quarter. Nine and three quarter. Nine and three quarter. Close ish. That's nine. Nine ish. Ten. Why does that look weird? Yeah, that is. I think this is too far down. Nine and a quarter. Now, does it go straight? Ready? Right there. 
I must be missing one. We're a little high up here. I'm right about the gray line. This one is about halfway up the... I'm here, and I'm here. Yeah, so this one's going to come down like an eighth if okay. you're worried about it. Well, let's move it. center mm -hmm. and then as we go we'll just pull this out unroll this and go again I got gotcha. you does that make sense uh, yeah it does okay. is this okay. tight enough yeah I think okay. I can make it tight. I need an extra set of hands or two or two That's my and be careful pulling because this stretches a little bit yeah. and if we stretch it it could throw the lines off and we have this pretty well lined up on the fly so we're just kind of like supporting. Okay, ready? Yep. And then as this comes through, just support the fabric. Thank you. 
Yes, it did, Jared. Yes, it did. No more talk weeks. We've got our goal. Sorry, I didn't get to show you all of that. Um, sometimes when you're frustrated with that second break memory card, that after that, you realize that it's still smart. How much fabric's left over? Uh, enough to do the back deck. Possibly. Oh, you gotta email that guy tonight. Who? The guy that turned. Oh yeah. See, I remember. Yeah, you did. That's proud of me. That's three days that I had to remember that. There we go. Dome light in. Probably doesn't work. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> You're gonna go that hour with me tonight. You just saw me connect it to the wire. How would you like me to test it before I put it up when I just screwed it into the wire? Because how do I know? I don't know how a dome light works. Y'all need to come get her. I, 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 I can't do it. I can't. What time is it? I've only been home for her. Not even an hour. Oh, it's seven. I've been home for a half hour. I kind of want to finish the headliner, but you know. <laughs> Y'all need to come get your girl over here. Look, I can see through your head. <laughs> All right, let me climb my fat ass in the back. You're <coughs> missing one screw. Not Why? bad overall. Why, where'd it go? It broke off. Mm. That I needed to get a new screw for, but it'll be functional. Okay. Feel this. Your mom 
just has everything, doesn't she? Yep. Oh my god. <clears throat> I need something that actually cuts. I could ride to China on that thing. Advantage here, at least I don't have to pull the windows like I did in the Mustang. All right, so still got a little trimming to do. We got a few little spots over there. We got a trim. We got to get the back trim screwed in. I can't find the screws right now because I screwed up somewhere. But our headliner is in. We now have a plaid headliner. <laughs> a little homage to the namesake, Uncle Buck. <laughs> it just looks so good. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> so tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to get the car outside. So we did get the wheels freed up. We got the brakes fixed. Um, I still have to do some brake lines and whatnot. I don't know if I have brake line around or if I have to get it, but I digress. But we got the wheels rolling. So I should be able to pull this out of the garage, um, try and get the seat out of it. So that we can get this carpet swapped out. Once the seat is out and the carpet swapped out, and I can tinker with the seat to get it to move again. So once that's out, carpet swapped, and that we can actually start putting things back together. We can make that back trim panel, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, we're almost done with interior. Once the interior is done, it's down to, I need a few adapters for the carburetor because on these, they run a detent like uh, lever and that detent lever requires a special adapter for a holy carb. So I'm probably gonna have to order those. I think they have them at summit, but I'll get them like maybe that weekend. Um, I'm trying to just get it moving under its own power and the throttle is currently hooked up with a zip tie. Um, but I'm not going to drive it until I get the detent hooked up. So carpet. Uh, finish the trim. Get the back deck panel in. Get those adapters this weekend. And all I got to do is run brake lines. This is so freaking cool. So exciting. We're making progress. And hopefully y'all are enjoying it. Like, comment, subscribe, and until the next one, we'll see you on the flip side. Okay. I'll have to finish that later, but... Find my butt out of here.